Alright, well welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all doing today? It is Wednesday, which makes it Williams Wednesday, as I've been saying. Did you have a Williams shave today? Hmm? 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 Alright, well I'm going to. So, uh, Williams Wednesday. So, what I've got is, uh, a homemade Williams shave stick that I've got some left, and I actually keep it in a Williams. Uh, there's no way I don't think you can be able to see the writing on the bottom there or on the top. But anyway, it's a Williams shave stick holder that uh, I actually stored in. Now I graded this down into actually I put plastic in a or plastic uh, wrap and I lined a pill bottle, a medicine bottle, and then I graded the Williams down. And then I packed it in, and I put a little water and pack it, put a little pack it, and down into a stick it went. I did that several years ago, and uh, it's still a really good little stick. It's about getting to be about time to make another one. So we're going to use a regular old uh, VDH bore brush here. Oh, just regular VDH bore. Finish up with some Family Dollar. Let's see, they call that the Classic Splash. It's the uh, smells kind of like brute stuff. Actually smells a lot like brute. Really nice knockoff. And for a razor today, we're going to use a Jim Jr. bar that's got a Jara handle on it. Jara turned that handle for me, and uh, he's done a couple of them for me. And this is one of my favorites. It's uh, really, really good work there. So that's going to be today's setup. And we'll get going here. It's about four o'clock. I do have work tonight, so we're going to get us a work shave going on for our good old William Wednesday. Shave sticks. I like shave sticks. I'm a big fan. And all you do is you get your face a little damp, and you stamp in the end of the shave stick, and you spread some soap on your face. Not real complicated at all. Now the question always gets to be, well how much soap do I put on? And that's hard to tell you. You just kind of have to use them and decide what works good for you. I always be sure I've got a good a good coating. If you got a little little stubble field going like I do, you'll see the soap on there nice and white. Even if you don't have a gray beard, it'll give you a gray beard. Buzzy has a gray beard for the most part these days. Alright. We're going to say that's probably pretty good. Rinse and dry the old hands off here. And then, just like we normally do everything, we're going to start with a damp brush. It's not going to be real wet. And look at there, almost instantly you're starting to Get that wheel's goodness going. Look at that. Boy, it's nice. Build the lather right there on the old mug. That'll help work it into the old whiskers. And it gives your face a good rub. And there's nothing wrong with that in the world. I find that to be another plus to the face lathering. While you're working a ladder up on your face, you're getting a good face rub out of it. Nothing wrong with that. Alright. A little bit more water. Just dip the tips of the brush in if you need a little more water. Nothing complicated about it. Nothing complicated at all. So the uh, good old Jim Jr. bar here, one of my favorite lather catchers. I don't know if it is my complete favorite, but definitely one of them. Got a new Powell Super Blade in it. And just like all of our single edge stuff, we're just going to kind of run it pretty much down and let the 
let the head of the razor be your guide on the uh, angle. You'll know when you got it right. I see a little tear in there. Oh, question while we're shaving. I notice that there are some folks who, when they're shaving, they pretty much make 15 passes in one. Maybe that's a little exaggeration. What I mean is they'll go over and then before they relather, they're going back over places again. Do you do that? Or do you prefer to uh, shave where there's lather and do kind of a defined shave thing? Or a defined pass? I tend to do a pass and then relather and do a pass. And then I use the witch hazel for the third cleanup pass, which, as I've said before, usually ends up being a full pass anyway. Shaving and all, but just curious what you people think about that. When I was starting out shaving, it was a really big one of the tenants to be sure not to be shaving over areas that didn't have lather on them. It was the cut down on the irritation, things of that nature. And uh, as I've gotten better at this, I've realized that there is some residual slickness left after, after you, uh, you know, do your first pass, but I still prefer to shave where there's lather and do it as a, you know, a conscious pass. We're going to come under the chin here, doing all this across the grain stuff. Fuzzy don't need and doesn't do against the grain. Oh, that's a nice shade. Tell you what, a good old ladder catcher. Oh, with a good solid blade and away we go. It's just a wonderful shade. Smooth, efficient. The Jim Jr. bar is not an aggressive razor at all, in my opinion. But a very, very efficient one. This way. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Right Prep is another thing that I used to preach. I can remember people having problems. That was the first thing. How's your prep? Eh, nowadays, not a big a thing. Wipe the face off. I don't think a long prep really helps. Now, a long prep is nice as far as your uh, your routine goes. If that's, that's part of your routine, you know, knock it out. But as far as going through and softening up everything and whatever, I don't see the point in it anymore. Maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know. Alright, so let's try this off. And we went from having all that old stubble on there to being nice and nice and smooth. <laughs> Jim Jr. Bar is good at that. And we're going to put on a good old witch hazel. Now this is not actually the Swan brand. This is just a bottle I reuse. This is just whatever you pick up at your local grocery store or uh, dollar store or pharmacy or whatever you're using is fine. I've never never been really picky on a witch hazel. It's all good stuff. So we're going to go back and make sure you got our lift all cleaned up because that's been important. Yeah. And we always want to clean up in front of the ears over here. Make sure we got it good and down along the jawline. As you 
get into this, or if you are into this, I'm sure you've realized you'll notice where your areas are that need a little touch up. A little skin stretching there always helps out. I hadn't talked about that in a while, I don't think, but skin stretching to me is a good thing. Nice and smooth. We'll come back under the old chin there. And down at the corner. And there we go. We got a weird Wednesday shave in. Again. Which is a good thing. So look at that. We're at uh, under 11 minutes here. Even with a little bit of talking. And we've gotten a really, really nice shave in. I think shave sticks are, uh, they really shine when you're, you don't have to be in a hurry to use one, but if you are, or if you're traveling, shave sticks are, are really nice. You get the soap spread around there, you work it in with the brush a little bit, the ladder shrivels up, everything's good. There's still plenty of ladder left on the brush. I could have done another, another lather pass there easily if I wanted to, maybe even more than one. And that's with Williams. Oh, such a nice shave sometimes, huh? Oh, I should say such a nice shave all the time. Boy, all right, put a little bit of the foo-foo juice on here, as my mom used to call it. Ah, good old brute. Love this little brute in the afternoon or the morning or any other time. So there you go. That's my Williams Wednesday shave, and we'll get it posted up for everybody. Let's hear about your Williams Wednesday shaves. Now, over at Toast, that's the OriginalSafety2.com. I've got a board set up for guests to post. You don't have to be a member. You can go in. You can post as a guest. Only on that board, but you can do it. So uh, come over and tell us about your Williams shave or whatever single edge or injector shaves you got. Remember, we don't talk about double edge. We don't talk about... Straight razors, those are unmentionables, and we don't even mention cart razors. They're beyond unmentionable. But your single edge, your injector razors, come over and share with us. We'd be happy to see you. Join in the fun. Get in on some of the giveaways. There's some really nice giveaways coming up. And, uh, you know, as always, Dylan Fuzzy sent you. Y'all have a nice afternoon, and happy shades to you.